Hello there. Uh, thank you for uh, watching this video on services marketing with a practical approach. My name is Dr. Biplab Datta and my contact details are given here. So, you can write to me if you have any feedback and I will try to uh, reply to you as much as possible. Now, in this uh, lesson, we are going to uh, discuss explore, exploring marketing opportunities part 2. So, we have discussed sort analysis and tau matrix in the earlier lesson and now we see how to look for opportunities from the environment. A scouting for opportunity. Let us now discuss how to explore for services marketing opportunities. Take the case of Sushil. Uh, he has been working as a manager in the service department of an automobile dealer um, for 5 years now. Uh, he has been a mechanic uh, in this department earlier. He saw a possible opportunity. He told his sister that he finds more and more automobiles with hybrid fuel electric engines coming to his workshop. It has been estimated that 30 percent to 40 percent of automobiles sales would be of hybrid variety 3 years from now. Recently, an automob automotive giant Mahindra and Mahindra bought the Bangalore based electric car manufacturer Reva. The circuit and the systems in a hybrid vehicle are not different from a non hybrid one, are, are uh, different from a non hybrid one, and most mechanics currently do not know the technology well. Now, Sushil thought he could launch a car service farm called Hybrid Car Service Center. So, Sushil found a new opportunity. Can we find one? Some places to look for are given below. Where can we find opportunities? So, first is you read industry trend reports which disclose new discoveries, innovations and trends in history, in industry. Lot of advanced research is being carried out in the human genome project, biotechnology, nanotechnology, solar cells, food and nutrition etcetera which can throw up opportunity for providing new technology driven services. New regulation can bring up several opportunities. Currently, the 3D spectrum is being sold by government of India and several telecom companies have purchased bandwidth in this spectrum. Failure of civic authorities in catering to the expectations of residents can be one area of opportunity. The disability of municipalities to provide adequate water and electricity has led to the launch of companies that distribute water and diesel based electricity generating services. Private companies are providing waste management services for collection and disposal of waste. So, if we uh, have our antennas high and if we continue to look in the our environment, in our macro environment, we can see that many opportunities are there for providing services. Particularly since the population is aging and the population is increasing, we they are demanding more and more services, which also are uh, 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 would become a enabler for providing uh, employment to the uh, to the uh, um, uh, burgeoning young population. So, scouting for opportunity, people's tastes are changing the world over. With the popularization of personal computers and internet, more and more people are demanding home computers, internet and associate services. Lot of companies are taking advantage of carbon credit consultancy in the wake of global awareness of climate change. People are time starved and are seeking a lot of small conveniences like child care, pet care, car care, grocery delivery, domestic services etcetera. Large businesses may be unable to take interest in small initiatives like secu uh, security or janitorial services that are too small for them to be profitable. Smaller service providers can launch these services. Communicate with salespersons of existing businesses. Now, talk to the customers to find out what modifications and improvements they want from your current services. This could be an opportunity that we could exploit. Then we come to the idea of opportunity identification. The business venture creates significant value for customers by solving a significant problem or meeting a significant need for which customers are willing to pay a premium. The 
it offers significant profit potential for shareholders which is enough to meet their risk and reward potential. The business venture presents a good fit with the capabilities, skills and experiences of the founder and the management team. The business opportunity would prevail over a long period of time unlike a short term fad and financiers are willing to finance the business venture. So, all these uh, criteria would help uh, in the identification of opportunity and uh, anybody can take advantage of this opportunity identification. Having identified an opportunity, we have to go for opportunity evaluation. So, to be a successful business case, an opportunity must be evaluated in terms of marketing feasibility, financial feasibility and technical feasibility. So, checking marketing feasibility, we first start with context analysis. The following questions must be answered to ascertain the feasibility of the marketing the service. Uh, what is the state of economic? Is it prosperity declining, recessing, recovering of the region we are going to serve? So, uh, if the um, business is in prosperity, you can provide superior services and charge high prices. But if the business is, if the society is in recession or declining kind of, then you have to provide um, some value added services at value prices, that means at appropriate prices. What is the target population that will be served by our businesses? What is the demand for our service in the market? What is the rate of growth of the service in the market? What is the return on capital employed for the industry of which our company will be a part? We have actually discussed many services in India and their, uh, and their return on uh, uh, capital employed and we have seen that many services like um, uh, hotels have lot of return on capital employed and are very attractive businesses. Is the political climate appropriate for launching and operating our service? What are the risks involved? What is the relevant business legislation that we have to abide by? Will the culture of the society in which we will operate welcome and adopt the service? So, these are questions for the environment of the business, the context analysis. Then comes customer analysis. Who are the profitable, who are the possible customers? Can we name and describe them? If we cannot, our business is too theoretical. Have a few customers express their willingness to purchase our service once it is launched? So, these are the questions which are important to be asked, so that we flourish in the business that we set up. How will the service benefit customers? Does it solve a significant problem or unmet need? Are customers willing to purchase the service? Are customers willing to pay for satisfying this need? How many people stand to benefit? That is, what is the estimated market size? Is the market stable or growing and at what rate? What portion of the market will the business hope to serve in the next few years? Then we come to the competitive analysis. That is the four, five forces analysis, Porter's five forces analysis which we have discussed earlier also. So, who are the industry rivals? What are their strengths and weaknesses? How are they supposed to react to our new venture? What alternatives or substitutes are available? How can buyers wield pressure on the business? How can suppliers wield pressure on the business? How easy is it for new firms to come into the market or for existing firms to start a similar service? How long will the market last in face of competition? So, these are some questions which are done for the analysis of the competition. Next, we go to checking the technical feasibility. So, we have to do the company analysis that is find out what uh, competencies and capabilities the company has and does it have the capability and competency to uh, um, uh, serve the kind of target segment that they have chosen. So, what infrastructure like buildings, plant, machinery, equipment and software would have to be installed? Are these easily available? If not, how do we plan to procure them? What management skills would be required? How can those be acquired? What are the qualifications of people required for delivering the service? How can they be recruited and trained? 
then we come to collaborator analysis who would be our partners if any who would be our suppliers our communication partners our distribution partners or agents our lenders and bankers so all these kinds of things have to be uh, answered as far as the collaborator analysis is concerned then checking economic feasibility so the following questions must be answered to ascertain the economic feasibility of the service business what would be the year wise sales forecast for the next 3 years what is the elasticity of demand for our services how would we match demand and supply during the peak and the off peak periods what would be the fixed and variable costs of our business what are the constraints on pricing if any what would be the break even sales volume what would be the estimated return on investment is it higher than the current bank interest rate so these are important uh, aspects that we have to check for and these are uh, very important if we want to uh, seriously uh, set up a service business. Then we go to services marketing opportunities in India. So, in this section we look at what all opportunities are available in India and see whether we can uh, set up service business as to address these opportunities to uh, take advantage of these opportunities. So, first is banking services. Now, in India the competitive scenario changed after liberalization policies were initiated in 91. It forced public sector banks to focus on providing satisfaction to customers. The banking organizations have to become market oriented in order to provide services as per the need of the customers. Banks have three product lines, deposits, loans and advances and auxiliary services. Auxiliary services consist of payment of checks, bills of exchange, drafts, subscriptions, traveler checks, foreign exchange, custodian services, etc. The research center of a bank undertakes the activities related to modification of the existing products to increase acceptance based on customer perceptions, buying behavior, the likes and dislikes of customers and customer suggestions. A team of product designing experts work to produce new products. Products that fail to meet the expectations of customers are deleted from the product line. Then we come to retail services. The Indian retail industry traditionally dominated by family run Kirana stores has faced a tremendous metamorphosis both in format and structure. The rise of the double income family resulting in increased purchasing power, higher mobility, availability of credit cards change the lifestyle and scarcity of time necessitate the need for convenient shopping. Organized retailing in India has been a predominantly urban phenomena. However, this phenomena is getting into Indian towns also. Any retail outlet chain which is professionally managed has accounting transparency and organized supply chain management with centralized quality control and sourcing can be termed as organized retailing. So, lot of organized retailing services um, can be set up to take advantage of this opportunity. Then coming to transportation. So, we have road transportation services for example. So, with the growth of road infrastructure in India including the golden quadrilateral, the road transportation services are also growing. The golden quadrilateral actually connects the four metros that is India uh, that is Delhi, Calcutta, Madras and Bombay. So, the road transportation services are also growing. Taxi services are growing between cities uh, around 500 kilometers apart. Similarly, bus services are also growing within cities as well as connecting cities and towns. The service product mix of Andhra Pradesh State Road Transportation Corporation is depicted in the next slide. So, here we see that there is the service product mix the um, Mofasil services, the city services, the supplementary services and the support services. So, Mofasil services are ordinary express, luxury or high tech. City services like city ordinary, metro express, metro liner, supplementary services like carriage of postal mail bags, parcel services, special services which are all um, done through the buses and support services like cloakroom facilities, dormitory, 
refreshment restaurants, other stalls, toilets, vehicle parking stand, information center, closed circuit TVs, drinking water, waiting halls, seating and lighting maintenance, security, first aid centers at the bus terminus. Then comes the insurance services. Insurance services can be of four types, personal insurance, property insurance, liability insurance and fidelity insurance. Different kinds of insurance available in India is also depicted in the next slide. Personal insurance covers life, property insurance covers risk related to property of the insurer, liability insurance covers risks of accidental death, disability or loss by fires, flood, earthquakes and such risks where losses are the results of natural or physical causes. Fidelity insurance protects organizations from loss of money, securities or inventory resulting from crime. Common fidelity claims allege employee dishonesty, embezzlement, forgery, robbery, safe burglary, computer fraud, wet transport fraud, counterfeiting and other criminal acts. Fiduciary liability insurance pays on behalf of the insured, uh, legal liability arising from claims for alleged failure or to prudently act within the meaning of the pension reform act of a country. Credit insurance is a type of in life insurance policy purchased by a borrower that pays off one or more existing debts in the event of a death, disability or in rare cases unemployment. So, this is the <coughs> insurance services mix, personal insurance, property insurance, liability insurance and fidelity insurance and um, the personal insurance of life, per personal accident and health property insurance, marine, fire, automobile, cattle, crop, machinery, theft, etcetera, liability insurance, third party insurance, employees, motor and reinsurance and fidelity insurance, fiduciary insurance, credit insurance and privilege insurance. Then we go to uh, uh, other services marketing opportunities like hospitality services. The marketing of hospitality services includes designing the basic service package or product, the physical environment that is the service scape, pricing, internal marketing, promotion and interactive marketing during the interactions between the service provider and the customer. The segmentation of the market is largely based on price or affordability and also on lifestyle variables. Internal marketing is of some significance in the hospitality industry. Internal marketing refers to the marketing of the service product to the employees of the organization. Uh, it is said that if you want satisfied customers, you must keep your employees satisfied and well trained. In other words, happy employees can keep customers happy during the interactions of the latter. These interactions are called the moments of truth. Coming to education services, marketing of education services has assumed importance in recent years in India. The fast changing economic and business scenario is reflected in the education sector as well. The entry of corporate organizations at all levels from the elementary through highly advanced specialized level has created a competitive environment in India for education services. Tourism services, the developed as well as developing countries are making vigorous efforts to reshape the tourism industry. And the main reason behind the attitudinal change in the policy makers is due to the industry's capacity to generate foreign exchange. Countries such as Austria, Belgium, Canada, France, Italy, Japan, Singapore, Spain, Switzerland, UK and USA have been successful in contributing handsome dividends to their exchequer through the tourism industry. So, the various uh, uh, references of uh, the authors from whom I have taken the material are given here for your perusal. Uh, uh, thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.